drums are tracked. I have edited the drums, good, because I usually rush ahead and try and record all the fun stuff like the guitars and vocals, and then I have to go back and fix the fucking drums after, and it always causes me a ball ache. So this time I actually disciplined myself. These are said drum tracks. These are the toms, which are all chopped up and cut out so they're more isolated. I could use a noise gate, but there's not a lot of tom work. And it's only two tracks, so I just went in and chopped up in between, so it's like a perfect noise gate. Yes, I need to try the guitars now. I usually DI and then use a plug-in to play so I can hear myself, but there's always a tiny, tiny bit of latency which fucks me off. So I would like to use an amp. So what I've done is routed, so the guitar goes into the reload and I've rerouted the interface to send a signal out and into the 5150. So it's going out into my noise gate because it's really noisy into the 5150. So my DI signal sounds like that. And I can stick a plug in on. But if I turn the monitoring off so I can't hear anything. What I can do, click on 5150. And that's it. Then I can record a DI in the process. Because uh, playing with an amp is so much more fun. So we'll see how that goes. And I'll not be using this guitar. It's fun, but it's not high output. I might do some tracking. Biggest problems playing guitar is I sweat my hands, just fucking sweat it like fuck. And uh, destroy strings. So. New set of strings. I'll get, I'll get two hours out of them, and they're gonna be fucked. And the guitar is all good because it was set up at the start of the year for all the gigs. Such a good guitar for staying in tune. It really is. Okay, I'm gonna do a take. Good start. Okay, okay. Not brilliant. Get in the game. Right. Holy fuck. Oh, recording your own stuff is so shit. Um, I had a latency issue. I don't know what the fuck happened. But basically, every time I recorded something, it slipped. So I had to re-record it all several times and then restart the engines and work out what the fuck was going on. But now it's done. So I have a left guitar and a right guitar. I haven't listened back to check if they're perfect. Um, but yeah, they felt good. Did a couple of punch-ins, tied up a few bits as I went along. But yeah, I think they're good. I think they're good takes. I'm back for round two. Gonna do some quad tracking. Quad tracking. Even though I'm not really good enough to quad track. I have tried it numerous times before and it hasn't really worked. Let's do it! Oh my god, is there anything better than 5150? Having uh. terrible problems today with the fucking slipping the click or something when I just think it's really weird. It's very, very irritating. I have to remember to use low latency mode for recording all the guitars to stop them from slipping. So I'm now going to start the Bjorko song. Which is weird because I don't really know what I'm playing yet. So I need to write some proper guitar lines for it. So I'm going to wee blast that now. Fuck's sake. Good start. Messed a bit. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Nice trial run. Okay, that's the rhythms all tracked. So now can we play with some overlays and some lead guitar work? Thing about recording yourself. 
Okay, that was a good session. There's a lot of guitars done. Sounds really good. It's good fun. Enjoyed that. It's a long day, but I think it was worth it. Uh, I still have to go and do the fades and Sparrow, but I'm going to use a mic up amp with a delay pedal and do that organically. I could do it with swells and modelers, but I can't be fucking arsed and the streaming sounds better. So I think I'll just make that up and swell it up with the uh, Les Paul because it's got the best knob. So yeah, it's good. Probably do some vocals next. Rock and roll.